Hello, my friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are on chapter 5, page 45 of your book about the future, my friends. Remember, there are three principal ways to express the future with will, going to, and the present continuous. For example, I will play basketball. I am going to play basketball. I am playing basketball and a time expression. Remember, very important, with the present continuous, we need a time expression to maintain context. Now, what the book says. The book says, will is for actions, events that we decide to do in the moment of speaking. Going to is for planned actions and events. And the present continuous is for planned actions and events, usually in the very near future. But also remember what teacher Eric says. Use will, my friends. Will, 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 will. Use will until you are extremely comfortable with be going to. I recommend this because will is super simple. No conjugation. You will listen. She will listen. They will listen. The dog will listen. The dog and the cat will listen. In the negative, you won't listen, the dog won't listen, the dog and the cat won't listen, I won't listen. And the question, will you listen, will I listen, will the dog listen, will the dog and the cat listen? Yes, I will, no, I won't. Super easy, no conjugation, use it. Remember the famous quote from Albert Einstein, genius is making complex ideas simple, not making simple ideas complex. If you want to talk in the future, if you want to express the future, use will because it is the easiest way. It's super simple. Okay, today we are talking about the future conditional. Now, the future conditional is used for future events and their consequential outcomes and results. Now, the format is simple. If, simple present, comma, virgula, and will and verb. For example, if I see you tomorrow, I'll tell you the story. If Livia is angry with me, I'll have a bad day. If you don't do your homework, you won't learn. Here, possible future events. If I see you tomorrow, if Livia is angry with me, if you don't do your homework, and the consequential outcome or result, I'll tell you the story. I'll have a bad day. You won't learn. Now, this is different in Portuguese. In Portuguese, if it's se eu te ver, amanhã, not se eu te vejo. It's se eu te ver, I'll tell you the story. Eu vou te contar a história. But in English, we use if, simple present, se eu te vejo, and will and the verb. It's different in English, my friends, than in Portuguese. Okay. Now, gonna. Gonna is used with extreme frequency in English. It is a grammatically incorrect substitute for going to. It is not correct. When we use gonna, we don't use the to in going to. We sometimes don't even use verb to be with gonna. And I have examples here. This is grammatically correct. Formal. I'm going to eat pizza. This is correct. This is formal. This is the only acceptable form in written English. English is scritto. This is the only acceptable format. Here, I'm gonna eat pizza. This is grammatically incorrect, but it's conversational. Here, I gonna eat pizza. This is grammatically incorrect and it is heavy slang. It is bad English. Very, very bad English. Okay, now, I say, and you repeat, I'm going to eat pizza. 
I'm gonna eat pizza. I gonna eat pizza. Good. This is very bad, my friends. This is okay, and this is correct. Okay. Now, apostrophe LL. In affirmative sentences with pronouns and will, we often use the pronoun plus apostrophe LL contraction. We use this contraction almost only with pronouns. You can use these contractions with regular nouns, but this is only common in spoken English and not written English. For example, we can say, we say, we speak, we talk, the car will stop. This is spoken English, but we don't write it. We don't write this. We say it. The car will stop, but we don't write it. So, this contraction is common in spoken English, but not written English. We say this, the car will stop. We say it, but we don't write it. We write these contractions with apostrophe LL with pronouns. Let's practice the pronunciation because the pronunciation is difficult for many Brazilians. I say, you repeat, al, yol, shill, hill, it'll, will, They'll. Good, my friends. Okay. Now, in the homework, you have activity six on page 45. Now, when you do it, use the grammar that the book recommends. Use this grammar here about uh, the differences between will, going to, and the present continuous. However, don't stress it. Don't stress over it. It's okay, my friends. Don't stress. That's it, my friends. That's the end. Bye-bye.